Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial, we'll set up a Playwright project. Installing Playwright is really simple. All we need to do is run a single command and boom, we have everything we need. But there are a few prerequisites. Let's have a look at them. So we need Node.js. As we have already discussed, Playwright is a Node library and so we require npm or yarn to install it. I prefer npm. npm is distributed with Node.js, which means that when you download Node.js, you automatically get npm installed on your computer. You can download Node from here. And note that it is essential to have Node version 10 or higher. Then another thing we need is an IDE. IDEs provide such ease when working on projects. You can pick any ID of your choice that is suitable for JavaScript. I prefer VS Code. You can download VS Code from here. You can find the download links in the attached resources with this lesson. And installing Node and VS Code is really really simple. But in case you need a little guidance, you can jump over to the JavaScript for testers section and refer the lesson install Node.js and Code Editor. I already have Node and Visual Code Studio installed on my machine. And in case you need to check if you already have Node, then simply go to your terminal I'll zoom in a bit and then you need to type node hyphen v. It shows a version so that means node is installed. Similarly we can check for npm as well. Type npm hyphen v and we get back a version so we have npm installed as well. Now once we have Node and an IDE set up, we can go ahead and install Playwright in our project. For that, let's create a project. So I'll create one on my desktop. And there we have it. Now let's go inside this. And I launch this project in my Visual Studio code. Uh, well, this command might not work for you, but let me show you. This is one setting I highly, highly recommend. So all you need to do is go to your view command palette and type code. And this is the one we want install code command in path just click on it and it will get installed and then you might need to restart your terminal to start using it now so using code dot it opened a visual studio code for me and I'm in my project let's close this and now the first thing we need to do here is to create package.json and for that we need to run a command. I like to use the integrated terminal provided by VS Code. You can launch the terminal from terminal new terminal or you could directly press Control and tilde. That will open your terminal here. Now the command we need to run in order to create package.json is npm init hyphen y and there we have a package.json created for us great so now is the time to install playwright to install playwright type npm install playwright And we have Playwright installed in our project. Congratulations! Now we are good to dive into the world of Playwright. I hope you enjoy it. 
I can't wait to get started.